we are making some banana bread and it's dark chocolate banana bread it's a super simple recipe i didn't want to get that many ingredients because we don't have that much storage oh my gosh wait why do i have lemons up here someone tell me why i have lemons on the mantelpiece I guess I just put them there for some reason. But we are going to be cooking this banana bread and discussing what happened over the weekend because I did not vlog it. I did not feel like vlogging this weekend. So let's talk about it. Let's chat, catch up, and talk about anything and everything. So while I bake, you guys are gonna listen to me chit chat. If you stay on this vlog, you can go ahead and exit out. Fine by me. It's probably gonna be a little bit more boring. Now, the first thing, I'm gonna be distracted a little. I don't have a baking pan for the muffins, so we're gonna make a banana cake, if that makes sense. I don't think I've ever used these before. Sorry, I'm distracted again. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. I went to one of my good friend's birthday party. Jess and Brooke, I think y'all have seen them on the vlog. They are sweethearts. I met them during my study abroad, my undergrad. I'm just gonna mash these bananas together. I don't, I don't have a masher, but anyways, it was Jess's birthday. So we went to Shoreditch. She rented out a little room in this place. Blue's Kitchen, I think is what it was called. I'm gonna see if I can find a masher. Oh, no way. We do have a masher. Oh my gosh. Since when did we have a masher? Hey. Well, we, I went to Blue's Kitchen. It was, I was about to use a fork. It was on Friday. Ugh. Jeez Louise. And it was so fun seeing everybody and all those friends on that side. But then after that, I went home. Saturday, I just did a bunch of master stuff. That Thursday, I also just did a bunch of master stuff. And guess what? This Sunday, Brooke came over, my good friend, you guys know her. I gave her her birthday present. It was a Lush bath bomb because she loves Lush. And I cooked her some breakfast, which is literally just croissants. I had frozen croissants. Made that, went to prep, got these really great yogurt bowls. Gave her that, we had a chill morning, and the main reason she was coming over too was because we were booking a trip for our spring break, which we successfully did. And it's another trip I am not gonna share with y'all yet. And I know I'm being a little sneaky person, but I just really wanna surprise y'all with it, and it's gonna be super fun. This is kind of gross sounding. And it mashed it pretty well. Look how much it mashed. The masher really did its job. <laughs> also, just to let y'all know, it is Sunday at 9 p.m. and I decided to do this. Don't even ask me why or how, but I'm here talking to y'all, recording this vlog, and I procrastinated. I totally procrastinated and I was like, ugh, I do need to record, you know, what I want to do for a vlog this week, which was, I knew I wanted to bake and talk with y'all, but I didn't know it'd be tonight at <laughs> 9 p.m. That's okay. I do need to pack for the gym tomorrow because I have an early, early, early morning. So I'll wake up around 6.30. My bar class starts at like 7.30. And then I get ready there, shower, do all the things, go to school right after. And then I'm not home until around five. And then after school, I have an interview with someone, I'm not gonna say who, but I have an interview for this little magazine, I'm really excited about, and then yeah, I have a really fun week ahead. Don't worry, I'm gonna vlog the next week because one of my good guy friends, he is coming from Georgia. Y'all have seen him in my vlogs. His name is Clayton. And he is coming to London for the weekend, which is really exciting. I can't wait to show him around and show him the town because I don't know if he's ever been to London, but he's never been to London with me and my friends and all that stuff and my experience and my knowledge. So I've matched these bananas really well. <laughs> Okay, moving on, next step. So mixed mashed bananas, 
oil. Oh, I need oil. So how much oil? One fourth cup. I have been reading my book, Kingdom of Ash. I'm about 60% done with the book. And I'm saying this because I am reading on a Kindle. So it's Kindle terms. But it's such a good book. It really is, y'all. Such a good book. I liked the first two books before it. Empire Storms was my favorite. This book is a little bit slow. It's honestly a little boring. I want you all to look and see what I'm doing here. I am a whole egg. And I'm not tossing the egg yolk, which y'all really did not like at all. Here's another one for proof. If I can get it open. Oh my, that's a stubborn little guy. There we go. Also, update on the Accutane. I have makeup on. That's why you can't really see it. Honestly, guys, Accutane stinks. The effects, not fun at all. The mental health is just not there. I'll just say that. It just kind of feels like it's just not fun. I'm getting drier and drier every day on my lips and face, and it's just a pain. It's a hardcore drug. I don't think we have a whisker. I guess I am gonna use a fork then. I really don't think people understand how hardcore it can be. It, I mean, of course people who've been on it do, but I mean like people outside of it, because I didn't. I didn't really realize how hardcore it could be. I have a consultation this Thursday, and so I am going to talk to the dermatologist about it, tell her what's going on, but I should be upping my dose this week which I'm kind of nervous about, but I only have three more months, y'all, and then hopefully I'll be done. We will see. But the mental health, what it feels like, it feels like there's a huge cloud over my head all the time, and I kind of feel imposter syndrome in my own body when I look in the mirror. I just don't feel like it's me because I don't know. There's no because. I don't know how to explain it. And... I think also it's with the weather here in London because there's not that much sunshine. Although this last week has been amazing because of how much sunshine we've had. And so I've been really super grateful about that. But I think it's just a mix of all these things where it's like just screwing up your self-confidence. And I know like y'all are gonna say in the comments, but Izzy, blah, 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 you know? And I love that and thank you for thinking that and seeing that way, but it's so different when you're in your own head and you've seen yourself for 23 years in the mirror and you've seen that exact same person and then you know everything you've gone through. It's just, it's just a different perspective. Okay guys, now with the recipe, we are going to add banana bread mix and mix with a spatula or spoon until combined. There we go. I also have school tomorrow, like I said. I have been so lazy with my projects, it's not even funny. I've been working on them, don't get me wrong. And your girl will always turn it in on time and give a good project or whatever. But it's just like senioritis. <laughs> it's master senioritis. It's masteritis, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know, I'm really passionate about what I'm doing. Like, I cannot complain on the subjects of what I'm doing. It's just doing it <laughs> is the problem. I just need to do it. That's literally the only thing. Don't know what's stopping me. I think I'm just having a little bit of a mental block, which I guess is gonna be okay to have because we all have mental blocks. It's all gonna be, all gonna be fine. We're all gonna be successful. I just applied to a job as well. It's literally my dream job. I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't wanna jinx it, but it's a dream job. I would not stay in London. I would move to a different city. And it is not in America, but that's the only thing I'm gonna say. I will send a follow-up email this week. I hope I get it, guys. It'd be so cool to work there after my master's. That's actually another thing that's coming up. Since I graduated my undergrad, I didn't have to do the whole job searching after graduation or during graduation, you know, like the last few months of graduation, your job searching, like all my other friends did when they were graduating. I didn't have to do that yet. So that time is coming for me. After my master's and the, the few months before my master's final project and graduation and stuff, I will be searching for a job to have a job somewhere which is really nerve wracking and scary. I know my friends all went through it and everything worked out great. So seeing them 
go through it and it work out great. It's really great to see, but still really nerve wracking. Yum, y'all. Why am I making this on a 9 p.m. Sunday night? Don't know. But I think it has to do with I cleaned all the sheets on my bed, even the comforter. And it just made me, made me feel really good and productive. So I was like, okay, I have that much control. Let me bake too, because I have good control. <laughs> I actually have done research in my masters. And one of the themes I looked at was nurturing self-discovery. And a part of that, I researched into baking and how baking psychologically can help you calm your anxiety. It lets you have control over your life and some things. And so it helps with that mental state. And yeah, so pretty much baking actually helps your mental health, which is really good to know. Good to, you know, keep in your mind if you're ever feeling down, maybe try baking or cooking, whatever it is in the kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's ready. Super easy, easy recipe and little cleanup, honestly. This is really nice. Yeah. Perfect! It looks so cute in there. Ow! That's hot! Also, Valentine's Day is around the corner, and my opinion on Valentine's Day, I like it. I think love is really pretty. I love love. I have plans on Valentine's Day, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to dinner with a few of my girlfriends and it's gonna be pasta, Lena stores. I'm really excited about it. I think Valentine's Day is a little overrated from my past and experience of my past in my relationships. It just, one like one of my exes like wait, no, I don't wanna say overdid it cause you know, he did what he thought I would want, but and I kind of did at that point. I did want that because that's what society, you know, like with the bear and flowers and all that stuff and a nice dinner. But Valentine's Day is overrated. Oh no, I forgot to do a timer. It's just an excuse for restaurants to up their price. That's all I'm saying. I say if you're going to do Valentine's Day, do a nice dinner at home, watch a movie, whatever it is. That is so fun. But... Who am I to say? I don't really have that much experience in that arena, so not something I'm gonna talk about and give advice on because that is not my foreground at all. Now that I've talked y'all's ears off, we are gonna sit and wait for this cake and hopefully it turns out good. I'm not sure if it's gonna turn out good or not. We're gonna see how good it is because it looks good on the box, but it might not actually be good. That's it. Not the best thing ever.